Hello Rosie, uh, this is Nate Wilson, and over there at the Commander's Throne, Stephen Cheecher's got a shit-eating grin on his face. <laughs> Fucking hey. Anyway, we got a little bit something special for you today. Uh, we're not going to be doing any flawed bell or any spina jacks or any of that type of stuff. Uh, we're going to bring back something we haven't done in a long time. Really long time. Really long time. Uh, about three years, actually, a little bit over three years, uh, newly discovered which was our web show we did where we introduce you to bands that we stumbled upon on the internet uh, that we thought were pretty cool and we share them with each other and share them with you guys on YouTube and and the like. So, however, the reason it's been so long is the last one we did was episode 11. And uh, I was too keen on it. I'm sorry for what I did to you. I know it was my dummy. Uh, but we did uh, a track from the movie Weekend Escape called Get Your Groove On. <laughs> if you remember that travesty, that horrible piece of shit, uh, it, well, it, it caused us to stop for about three years and do other projects. Yeah. So, but now, uh, this morning came and Steve showed up and we played some Parmesan kind of soccer bottle game. No one's going to understand what that means, but it's true. Uh, shaker cheese soccer. And uh, then I showed him some Joanna Newsom, which he... Doug, Doug, very much. Very much. Um, but now he has found something, and we figured we'd just kind of start back up again. Um, now, I don't know if I want you to give me any information ahead of time, or if you just want me to play the song to me, or what do you think you want to do? What do you think is the best effect? Um, well, I'll give you a little bit of information. Okay. Um, we'll save the kicker for last. Um, more or less, it's the guitarist of the band that's really the kind of the key to the whole thing. Okay. His name is um, Matthew Hickson. Matthew Hickson? Yeah. Where is he from? They're from, uh, what was it, Stapleton, Nebraska, I think? Stapleton? I, I've never even, I don't think I've ever heard of a band coming from Nebraska, period, but. Uh, uh there's something like not that. Not the Midwest, that's kind of weird. like Broken Bow. Okay. Um, anyway. Yeah, so it's an instrumental. Um, we know how much you love them. Yeah. I fucking hate instrumentals. <laughs> Holy it's, shit. It's, it's worth a listen, though. Especially... Okay. Uh, Am I really going to dig this? Maybe. I like it. How many people are in the band? Um, it should just be the three. It was uh, two brothers. Right. One of them plays drums, and the other one plays uh, keys. And then the guitarist, he also plays bass, I think. Gosh, so just two space. brothers doing the, all the tracks together? Oh, no, it's two brothers who do the other instruments, and then you have uh, Matthew. Okay. He plays the guitar, and I think he just plays guitar and bass. Okay. But, yeah, all instrumental. It's... Just give it a listen. Okay. Bass player and brothers, drummer, the keyboard brothers. Yeah. And then there's a separate bass player, and then there's him playing guitar. Yeah, I think he might play bass too. Okay. I'm not sure, but I believe it was just. Turn up.
sounds like an electronic drum kit. separate the keyboard player from the drummer. <laughs> so I'm thinking it's more along the ladder. Nice. He plays <laughs> his soloing is like a mixture between like like a Steve Vai and Vic Chestnut. <laughs> yeah. That was really nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Guess what the kicker is? Sure. The guy has no hands. <laughs> I don't fucking know. No, he um is actually in his late thirties. He uh is presently experiencing or at least they he was just beginning to develop when they recorded this, is the early onsets of Parkinson's disease. Like, the music by itself isn't necessarily anything too, too special. I mean, yeah, it's pretty repetitive, and... Yeah, but... I mean, it would be it would work good for a soundtrack to a movie or something, like background yeah. music or whatever. I Which is that. kind of, like, the inspiration for picking this out, because you gave me that fucking abomination. <laughs> <laughs> right? So what's the, what's the name of this track? This, uh, is, uh, Carver's Leap. Off of Brought Over. Well, that's the band, Brought Over. Brought Over is the name of the band? Yep. Brought over, the, they're not like a religious fucking band, are they? Like converted, they're brought over or something? I, I didn't find anything hinting towards religion, no. But maybe. So what is this Carver's Leap? Do you know anything about that or why it's called that? Or Carver's Leap was, um... <clears throat> I don't know, you know, like how they get in those old fucking 60s movies, you have know, the Lover's Lane or something like that. Carver's Leap was actually, um, a kind of cliffside that... Just was all jutted rock sharp, looked like knives. Somebody decided to call it Carver's Leap. Right. Sort of a joke, I suppose. Um, yeah, that's kind of like where they'd go and they'd set off firecrackers, drink beer. That was just their place to hang out. Okay. Um. I mean, I guess I dig it. I dig it to a certain extent. I mean, I'm not really a fan of like long, boring guitar solo instrumental stuff. <laughs> but uh, it's good. I mean. I mean, if he's got Parkinson's and he's playing like that, then... Nah, that's why I thought it'd be worth a listen. He's not, like, confined to a wheelchair or anything like that, is he? No, just, like I said, early stages. But so he's not too twitchy, or he is, or... I'm not. Is that the... Are they using that as, like, a gimmick in their press or some shit? Our guitar, our guitar player Our twitches like crazy! <laughs> I mean, you can hear it in his playing. There's a lot of hesitance and, like... Yeah, exactly. That's why I like said it sounded, like, chestnut. It sounds like Vic Chestnut. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm comparing this guy to a quadriplegic. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> not quite, but... Yeah, no. Like I said, it's not gold, per se, but it's definitely really interesting. It was that... You found more tracks, or was that the only thing you found? Um... Honestly, that uh, was a click of, uh... 
that's the intro to a 25 minute long oh jesus well thank you for being kind enough to not play me the whole 25 fucking minutes yeah no you're welcome um that is does it just go like that all on and on it picks up um after the first segment so they do have a separate tracks then right. um it gets to a building drums like they sound a bit less electronic more garagey and it just it's progressive. It's really progressive. So where did you? Where on the net did you? Did you find? Did they have like a website, or did you find it on like an MP3 collection page, or like what was? How did you end up getting it? I'm gonna um, post it on my drums. Honestly, actually, uh, my younger brother had been just tossing a bunch of music my way. Like he's been handing around his iPod and, right. and downloading shit to it. And one of his buddies who um, transferred to their school, I believe, it was last year. Right. Um, just in town. Um, he threw this on, he had the full album, this instrumental piece, or a group of instrumental pieces. Right. And he really dug it, he thought I might like it. Do you like it? I don't, like I said, I don't think it's bad, but it's not something I'd listen to for the sake of listening. Do you hear that fucking bass line? It's like all whole notes and shit. <laughs> like, maybe they, maybe, maybe there was, it wasn't a real bass, maybe there was synth bass or something, I don't know. Yeah. I like this. So... Yeah, I looked up, I looked up after and picked up some information. Ouch. How old is he, you said? Um, like late 30s, 30s, you said? Yeah. Huh. It's pretty early to, well, I mean, you got Michael J. Fox, I guess you can, yeah. that sit, sets in early. So is that all you wanted to show me? I'm not very impressed, but. Yeah, but if we're just going to get back in the swing of things, then right. it's not terrible. All right. Well, that was good. Um, <laughs> hopefully the next one will be a little bit better, people. Sorry about that. Um, any last words? Your crotch is ringing. Yeah. Who is it? It's Daft Punk. <laughs> calling you. All right.